Reels are as important to your fishing success as any of your tools. Today, Stacy King's gonna show you some important maintenance tips that you gotta know in Bass School 101. When I'm throwing a spinnerbait, I make a cast every 14 seconds. That's four times a minute. That's 2,000 casts a day, 14,000 casts a week. These reels are my tools, and with all those casts, every two or three weeks, they need a light cleaning and a thorough lube job, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. The first thing I'm gonna do is disassemble the reel. First, I'll take off the right-hand spool control knob, set it off the side. Most of today's better reels have a release somewhere over here on the side plate to help you take this left-hand side plate off. It's real simple. Just drop it off like that. Then I'll slide the spool out, and that gives you access to all three main spool bearings. I'm gonna take this paper towel right here. I'm gonna clean out the inside of this spool housing. This particular Johnny Morse reel has two braking systems. It has a magnetic system and a centrifugal system. And the inside of that housing where that centrifugal brake rubs against will get some grit and grime in it. That's why I like to get that extremely clean in there. Then I'll pick up my spool and I'll clean both ends of the spool very thoroughly. As you can see, I've been picking up some grit and grime on that cloth off that spool, off that shaft right there. Got both ends real good and clean. Then I'll take the main housing of the reel and I'll get my cloth in there and I'll wipe around and I'll try to get just as much dirt and grime out of there as I can. And I'll also pick up my little Q-tip. That's a great little tool right there. And you can get into the little crevices in there and get a lot of grime and grit out of there. You can see quite a bit of dirt up there. And then what I'm gonna do is take my oil. I'll go back to this side plate. I'm gonna put a tiny drop in this bearing in that side plate. You don't wanna put very much in there. If you get too much in there, it slows your bearings down. It'll slow your spool down. So I want just a very light drop. Then I'm gonna take and put a very light drop on the inside of the brake housing right here. And I'll take a toothpick and I'll just run that around the inside of that housing so there's a very even coat of oil on the, all the way around on the inside of that housing. And I'll pick up my spool. I'll put a very light drop in the bearing on the spool, the main spool bearing, and I'll pick up the main housing of the reel and I'll put a very light drop in that bearing. I've got all three bearings oiled very thoroughly. I'm gonna reassemble it. I'm gonna put this shaft back in there, put the spool back in, come with a side plate, put it on, slip it on, then I'm gonna come back with my cast control knob on the right hand side. Then I'm gonna take my oil and I'm gonna put a very light drop in the level wind system, right in those grooves where that paw works back and forth, maybe one on each side, just a light drop in there, just enough to lubricate it. As you can see, I've got a reel that's fluid and ready to fish with. That's it, class dismissed.